Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2013. I'm astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, we're finishing up a moon in Libra which will come into Scorpio tonight. So lots of shifts happening. We are finishing up though a lot of intellectual, a lot of air energy, right? That moon in Libra which over the last couple days has been finding our emotions. Can we find that peace? Can we find that harmony? How do we connect to others? I am more seeing this on a harmonious level though of finding harmony in our minds, our attitudes, our environment. That's because with all this energy in Gemini, right? We've got Mercury, we've got Venus in a conjunction, we've got the Sun that's now entered in, and we've got Jupiter. This is the story of our lives right now. Understanding how to clear the mind, how to have a right attitude, how to observe the facts in the right direction. It's very interesting because last year when Jupiter came into Gemini, we had Saturn in Libra. It was the Libra-Gemini story. And I think the last couple days reminded us of last year, the issues we might have had in our mind, the issues that we might have had of what's keeping us from all that harmonious energy, that balance in our life. And I think you got a taste of what it is over the last couple of days. And as we move into Scorpio, we get the second part of this whole story, which is where we're at now with Saturn and Scorpio. So you're going to feel a shift today as emotionally, you know, wanting the harmony. And then guess what? We step into that deep Scorpio vibe, right? By tonight. And it'll be coming closer to Saturn. I'm pretty sure that, you know, that Saturn energy won't be hitting us until late, late, late while we're sleeping or early in the morning. And for those over there uh, in Europe, you know, look and see where it'll hit you because it'll hit you definitely, the moon and Saturn. But I'm going to talk more today about making sure that we are not screwing our attitudes <laughs> because honestly our minds are freaking crazy. When you have this much Gemini energy, we got Mars getting ready to come in and we're building up towards a lunar eclipse in Gemini. And the moon, right, as it comes into Scorpio is only one click away from a lunar eclipse. So the events are building and this is the last of the eclipses till the fall and into the winter or till the later part of this year. But this is the endings of a huge story of the last month in your life of what you're building what your understanding of all this building and the mind blow that's about to happen in your life. The letting go of old beliefs that's coming up and I'll talk about that in the next couple days but right now we are focusing today on how can you make sure that you're having harmony? What is it in the mind that you can do to find that harmony in your life? That peace, finding peace of mind. Now as the moon comes into Scorpio it really does challenge you as far as making sure that you are really emotionally finding what you want to connect with. The big Saturn lesson in Scorpio is finding any intimacy issues, finding passion issues, finding the truth in your life. And our attitudes are seeking the truth. Our minds are seeking the truth. Are you living in the truth? Our emotions are going to want this by the evening. And it really is time for us to really listen to our gut, to really start to process a life that is here to explode and to that your mind doesn't know everything, that our emotions, our intuition are guiding us in the right direction. And the sun is starting to make it square to Neptune. Ooh, you know, sun square Neptune energy is a little weird. You know, things can be a little confusing. You know, go with the flow right now. Your mind is tripping out, way tripping. And you need to find the harmony in your mind. You need to find it, uh, you know, with Jupiter in here, it's. It's expanding, expanding, expanding the computer like it's never been expanded before. It almost can't handle it. Remember, Jupiter doesn't want to be here either. The last thing Jupiter wants to do is waste his time on little, little facts and that little conversation from a week ago. And, you know, it's like thinking forward future. It's thinking ever expanding. It's thinking more spiritual. It's thinking way bigger. But here it is in little places, expanding all the little nooks and crannies of our mind and our life. And we deal with the exposing of especially with Scorpio energy, the exposing of where our mind's lost. So tonight, you could unveil some deep truths emotionally of why your mind has been freaking you out, why you have been thinking the way you've been thinking. This has to do with your environment. Maybe you need to make sure you're in your passion more to change the way your environment works. This is all about how do you make your environment, your close environment, positive, happy. And it all comes down with finding peace of mind, but more importantly, making sure that you're living in your truth, that you're making sure that the only way to find peace is to make a move towards peace. 
not create war, you know, in your own life. It's the battle of self we're dealing with here now, folks. It's the battle of self in your partnerships. It's the battle of self in how you're not living in your passions anymore. It's the battle in your own self. You gotta throw the ball in your own court and you gotta take a shot. And with the Scorpio energy that comes in later tonight, and I think it's more of a focus on the cusp of this, where, you know, once you live in a place of stability and balance and harmony and beauty, you then can go intimately into the places you want to go because you know you're chilled out. Same thing with the relationship. You know, most people get in a relationship before they have sex. That's been the tradition for a long time. So it's like, you know, before you go have sex, it's like, okay, yeah, let's get in a relationship. I want to feel a, a, a relationship energy first before I just don't meet you, jump into sex. Now, believe me, there are people who are really good about the intimacy and they're not good with the relationship energy. But here we are seeing in how consciousness works is how we shift from in order for you to find your passions, you need to find peace of mind first. This is what the story was last year and the year before that, 2011 and 2012, were about finding peace in your life. How do you find peace? Having the right mind, understanding what your values are, leaving behind the fluff and stepping into your raw truth. And it's gonna be that battle of yourself and how you step into that right now. And knowing that dreams can become reality right now, but they're gonna take a solid foundation in your passion, a solid foundation in your truth. And more importantly, we're about to unveil here with this big lunar eclipse what beliefs have been holding us back, where we can radically change our minds, but more importantly, we are getting ready for a Sun-Jupiter conjunction, which is gonna happen in Gemini when last year it happened in Taurus. So we have not seen anything of really what Jupiter in Gemini has to hold. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you wanna find out what Jupiter is gonna do for you in Gemini. We are a couple weeks away from the big, powerful conjunction, which is happening at the end of June. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful life. Thank you guys so much for all your support, and I will see you guys tomorrow.